Yeah, when Taliban took the control of Kabul uh, uh, on 15, uh, actually it was really it was really dangerous. Like when I came out from office and I I skipped office to him um, with my husband, I saw the city that everyone is just running, just they want to go home, and uh, the face of uh, city is changed. And after that, I saw Taliban that how illiterate, how dangerous, how um, how dirty they are. Just they came and they are walking around and they have to, they are going everywhere with a motorcycle. Actually, there were so many videos of me that I was spoken about. Oh, Taliban are like this. I had the bad um, memory from last 20 years that they injured me for the first time when they came to Afghanistan. Or um, there was too many videos of me about that I was playing basketball. There was a lot of men and they were cheering for me and supporting me. And this all. And also I was like uh, in Afghanistan, I was in a famous so if Taliban come and the people can show me to them that I am the one who was spoken about Taliban and they can make danger for my life. And when I saw how dangerous people took the control of Kabul and it's impossible for me to stay and I understood that one day if, if they understand that who I am, they, they infinitely kill with, with these all videos. Then I told my... Uh, friend and to knew that he is a journalist in Spain, uh, I told that, uh, please help me. I want to go out of here. I cannot uh, live under control of such people that they are, how how illiterate they are. They cannot control my life. It's it's not easy for me. Then he said, okay. And the second day, again, I, I asked and to you, now I can see the Taliban in front of my home. You know how dangerous they are? They are here. Uh, I cannot stay here anymore. And my family told that if I, it's not easy for you to stay here. Maybe they would punish your husband as well because of you. And um, then uh, until you could uh, help here, I spoke with the government, too many tutors, uh, news is about me. And then the government decided to take me out in three days from Afghanistan. Um, Taliban are the same Taliban before, even now, they are more dangerous than before. Uh, so the, um, the future is everyone knew that uh, now uh, in the government of Afghanistan, there is no woman in the government. And also they told the woman to stay at home. We will tell you to go to work or no, but it's, it's uh, more than three weeks that they are at home. My sister was working in an NGO, but now she is just staying at home and nothing. And uh, I, I was in contact with my teammates in Afghanistan, and I told, I asked that uh, you, uh, your training has started or no? They said no, just the male training has started. And they, uh, the um, federation told to the girl team to just stay. We will speak with Taliban, then we will inform you. It mean, it mean that for women there is no, there is no hope, there is no future, and um, Taliban doesn't um, accept women as a part of the society. This is the biggest problem. Yeah, uh, if uh, I have a message for Taliban, I would tell them this is not the way that you want to control a country, uh, hiding women and just having a, con a government with men. It's not the way. And you cannot, you cannot continue. And also, I, I want to tell them that you are not enough literate to can, uh, control a country. You need to change your mind. You need to improve. You need to know about human being. And you need to um, be literate. And um, you cannot... You cannot control this country like this to, to uh, say the women that you are nothing. Yeah, of course. I really love to love to see Afghanistan back in, 20, in less years that I was in Afghanistan. I really love to see Afghanistan is uh, in peace. The people are happy and they have their normal life. And I love to see my uh, my family and and the relatives and the friends that they were in Afghanistan. And I had this opportunity to meet them and and, and, and be happy with them. Um, I really love to uh, love to see Afghanistan be a, a developed country like here, like other countries, and our people 
stay safe and be in peace. Um, I don't know, it happened, but it, I pray for this. This is my biggest wish to, to have a better life in Afghanistan, to have a better country, um, empty of Taliban. Um,